make that 201, you know what I'm saying? Cause the boy's an animal. You feel me? You fuck Well, then I just hooted it and scooted it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo, hold up, man. I think I found something over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, my channel. What's up? Yo, we got some things to talk about today. Sit down, shawty, give me all of your love. Let's sit down, dream till we can't get up. Music, something we all love. I mean, think about it. We all connect with music on a deep level, even before we knew language. I mean, if you cut on a slapper, a smooth track for a baby, that baby be in the corner bobbing and weaving. So how powerful is music really? So with this comes this whole talk with like frequencies and whatnot, but we're just, we're not gonna just dive into that for the sake of this video. But we are gonna talk about some thoughts that I've been having. Thoughts. And no, I'm not talking about that half naked girl on the side of the club shaking her ass. <laughs> not talking about those thoughts. I'm talking about these thoughts. So look, I'm gonna just get straight to the point. The deeper I get into music, the more I realize how powerful it is. And I mean truly powerful. I'm talking. Now, I've always been aware how powerful words are and music is, but it's like the more I do it, the more I get into it, the more I realize it's even more powerful than I thought it was. Meaning, how songs are created is very important, which ultimately brought me to the final conclusion that I want to be a lot more thoughtful with how I create my music. Let me just slide in real fast. You know, it's crazy. I had a moment. I came running from downstairs to grab me, you know, a little bit of water. Before I start editing, I'm sitting here. And I just start feeling my, my heartbeat. And I just realized, bro, like the beat is within us. Besides that, I would like to take this moment and speak about what I believe to be the true purpose of music. I feel like the true purpose of music is to express yourself in the truest form. For instance, it's like any other art, right? Uh, dancing, drawing, language. Like, look, I was thinking the other day, right? I'm like, what's the, what's the even the point of talking? Like, what's the point to even speak? And the only reason to speak is to express what's inside, to let out what you're feeling inside. That's the reason why we speak. So we use these tools such as language and music to express ourselves in the truest form possible, which then makes it important to learn these tools, learn music, learn more about language, increase your vocabulary, because in doing so and learning more about these tools, you'll be able to express yourself better. And someone who can express their thoughts and articulate themselves clearly is someone who has discovered their true superpower. However, the very thing that can grant you that superpower can also be the limitation of you. And this is why I believe this stuff is so important. So let's jump back in the video. Now, let me tell you about the song we're gonna listen to today called Heal. Now I'm gonna keep it all the way 1000 with y'all. I was very, very reluctant to release this song. And not because of the singing. I mean, we're past that. Either you like it or you don't. It's about the meaning. So I made this song probably around the beginning of the year, many, many, many months ago. So you might see a little quality difference. But besides that, I made it during a time where a few members of our community committed suicide. Now, when I wrote this song, I wrote it in the perspective of that person going through that and their moments and the thoughts that they may be having at that time. Now, the difficulty I have with this one is usually in my songs, whether you care or not, I like to bring it to a good mood. I like you to be saying or repeating words or even listening to words that's gonna affect you in a positive way, even if you don't care about it. So the thing is, even if I was to make a song that was about some tribulation, struggle, or something very low or down, I would wanna end that song on a positive or a strong note, something powerful that you can leave with. Now the thing with this one is, I didn't do that. I left it on the same note, on the same emotional plane. And the thing that was unsettling to me about that was that creates a space where you can wallow in that feeling or emotion and it can take you deeper into it, which may not be the best thing. So I want you to recognize that while watching this video or listening to the song. To those of us who have suicidal thoughts, had suicidal thoughts, or the ones who have committed suicide, I dedicate this song to you. Also, I have two very special things to share with you after the song plays, so I hope to see you then. Enjoy the song, Heal. No. Oh. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. 
There you go. I really hope you enjoyed the song. Now there's two things that I want to talk about. One, I want to put a new perspective on the word end. I feel like a lot of us, when we think of end, it almost saddens, it almost saddens us. We think of our family members whose life came to an end. We think of that relationship that may have came to an end. We think about ending our own life. And that brings great grief, sadness over us. But I want to switch that word. I want to give a new definition for the word end. And that definition is, energy never dies, end. And number two, for the sake of this video, I encourage all of you to go in the description and click the link that I'm gonna put down there. It's an exercise that I think we all should do, at least once. Now remember, this exercise is an external source, just like you watching this video. You shouldn't take the information in either one of these videos and just believe it. Conceptualize it, internalize it, and come to your own conclusions. So the last thing I'll say is I think there's a great importance to connecting to your true self. Taking some time and getting in touch with what's real. Because when you're in touch with what's real in you, nothing in this world can touch you. Not even death. I love you guys. Take care. Oh, stop! Hey, what y'all doing in there, man? Oh.